Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I have five spring decor items, each under $5 for you. Yes, that's right. It's the five under five challenge. I'll let you know more about that in a few months, but if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my Oliver. And if you're returning, you know we love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to start out with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and my Waverly antique wax. I'm also going to use these apple barrel paints. There's a lilac mist and pink blush, as well as light daffodil or pale daffodil and blue cotton. And then I'm going to use this folk art multi-surface bright green paint. I'm going to use this uh, sign that I just recently got at Dollar Tree and then this wood round I've had in my stash from Hobby Lobby. So I start off by removing that hanger which left that hole. So I found a, another little half bead in my stash that matched the ones that went around it and I just hot glued it. And then I painted the larger wood round with my wax and then the smaller one I painted white. While I was painting it, the tulips started coming off. So I just pulled it off, finished painting it. And then after they're all dry, I took my lilac color and I'm painting the top part of the tulip. And then I took that green and painted the bottom part of the tulip. And then after they're all dry, I went with the, I started with the lilac color and I went and painted every fourth bead around the round and then I continued with the other colors. I went uh, with the pink next and then I went with blue and then I finished with the yellow. Now this did take a little bit of time because you do have to be kind of, uh, you know, careful with not getting paint everywhere. Um, but I did have to go touch up a few places after that. Then after that, I took my white and a chip brush from Dollar Tree and I'm just doing a dry brushing all around that wood round. And then I'm just going to use my wood glue here and uh, some hot glue and I'm putting that all around the back of my tulip and then I'm going to add that back to that small uh, round piece. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back of the small round piece. I'm just going to use the wood glue and the hot glue going all the way around. I went the use the wood glue all the way around the middle and then just use the hot glue around the edge. And then I'm gonna uh, lay it down on my uh, big wood round here. Once I was done with that, I took some of this ribbon. Now, I don't know, I've had this in my stash for a while. I'm not sure where I got it, um, but I'm just making a bow by doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle. And then I'm gonna use some jute uh, twine to, uh, tie the middle part to keep it uh, cinched and then I'm going to do I got this last year after spring it was on clearance at Michael's I just thought it was beautiful um, and I think the colors go perfect with this picture so I made a second bow with that and I'm adding it to the first bow and then connecting them with that jute string that was that I used on the first bow then after that, I just dovetailed the ends by folding them in half and cutting at an angle. And then I just hot glue it to the top part of my wood uh, round. Then I took some of these tulips that I got last year on clearance as well. Um, I don't know if they were on clearance. They were on sale uh, from Michael's. And I'm just going to hot glue some of them uh, to my wood round right underneath that bow. And then after that, I'm going to just take uh, some of jute twine and I'm just going to, I tied knots on the ends and I'm just hot gluing them to be a hanger. And that is all there is for this one. And you have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below. I love it. I love tulips. They're one of my favorites. So yeah, I was excited to find that uh, piece at Dollar Tree recently. Okay, so today is the five under five challenge. It is hosted every month by Emily with Farm Charm Chic and Missy with Crafty Cove. And this month's guest host is 
Kendra with Late Night Creations. Um, and of course, like I said at the beginning, we make five projects, each under $5. So make sure you check out their channels and the playlist. I will have links to all of them in my description box below. Okay, here's DIY number two. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use two of these uh, boxes that come in the two pairs, two sets. Um, and then my Waverly chalk paint in the color elephant and the color white. I had these little vinyl or dowel caps in my stash. I've had that for a while. And then I've had these for a while. Um, I think I got these off of Amazon. And then some more uh, lilacs or lavenders, I'm sorry. And then um, some floral foam that was in my stash. So I started off by painting these two boxes white. Now, if you have any of these, you wanna make sure that they're the same size. These are just off, just a hair. And I didn't realize it till I went to go glue them. And then I'm just going around the edges with my elephant chalk paint, just kind of giving it a light distressing just around the edges. After that, I decided I wanted to paint those brass, um, I don't know what you call them, uh, whatever they are, I painted them with my uh, chalk paint, um, elephant chalk paint. And then I took too many of these finial caps. I don't know why I had so many, but I only needed four. And I put them on some painter's tape and I'm just painting them with my uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And then I went over and did some light distressing with that elephant. After that, I am going to use some wood glue and hot glue to connect those two boxes together. And again, we do the wood glue for permanent hold and the hot glue for immediate hold. And so I'm just gonna stick them together just like that. And as you can see, I put the two uh, cutouts together so you didn't see them. Then I'm taking the little finial uh, dowel caps and I'm hot gluing them to the bottom to be feet. Then I took some E6000 and hot glue. Since this is metal, hot glue and metal don't really like to work together. So that's why I'm adding the E6000. And I'm just putting it along the back of these things and then I am going to put them on the front of my boxes. And then after that, I'm gonna hot glue some floral foam inside my boxes and then I'm just gonna fill them up with some of this lavender. This lavender is, uh, I believe I got it at Walmart. It's beautiful, um, it's really long, so it's perfect if you have like a long vase, it would be perfect for that. Uh, yeah, so if you find it, I would uh, recommend getting some. I don't find it very often, but uh, yeah, I just loved it. I thought it was beautiful. And that's all I did once I got this all filled up with um, lavender. And it was a super easy project. And there it is. And since everything was in my stash, it didn't cost me anything. You have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below, but I love it. Again, my favorite color is purple, so <laughs> it's hard not to love it. Okay, I'm just inviting you to come follow me over on my social media accounts. You can find the links to all of them in my description box below. Here's DIY number three. Okay, so for this DIY, I'm going to use this. I got this from my husband for Christmas. He bought this for me for Christmas. But I didn't get it at Christmas because it was lost in his closet and he found it the other day. <laughs> and then I just recently got this at Dollar Tree, um, this little three part sign. So I just found the different decals that I wanted to use and I'm just using it comes with a little brayer stick and I am just rubbing it on to my little sign here. And it does take a little bit of time rubbing it, um, but uh, you know, you just, gently start pulling away the top cover. If you see any of that pulling up with it, then you just wanna go over it with the brayer a little bit more and just keep pulling until uh, you can pull it off clean. And I will get there here in just a moment. And I apologize if you, uh, if you can tell by my voice, I'm still getting over my sinus infection. Um, so please bear with me. After that, I did the second, uh, the middle part, and um, yeah, it was going really good until the very end here, you will see something that just broke my heart. <laughs> it pulled it all up. Oh, I guess I didn't rub hard enough. 
anyway, so I thought, okay, how am I going to fix this? So I just grabbed a couple more transfers and just placed it in the front. And I think that it, it covered it up pretty well. And then I just added one more transfer on the top. Now here I'm just making a double finger bow and I put it in slow motion, not slow motion. I slowed it down so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. I have a hard time for some reason explaining it while I'm doing it. So I just like to slow down that footage so you can see it. And then once I had it all done, I just dovetailed the ends and I'm gonna hot glue the bow to the top. And that's all I did for this one. It was super easy. All of these projects are super easy. I'm still um, trying to recover from this, this sinus infection and I get tired very easily. And after my very first project, I was exhausted. So I just had to really push my way through it or push myself through all of this. Um, so they're pretty easy projects today. But I love that one. You have to let me know what you think about it. Okay, it's a time for a celebration of your recreation. And Karen recreated my little envelope uh, theme here. And I just think it turned out so adorable. Thank you so much, Karen. And then we have this beautiful piece that Amy created. I absolutely love it. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much, Amy and Karen, for sending me your pictures. I truly appreciate it. And if you have any creations or recreations that you would like me to showcase for you, you can sh send me pictures to the email address that's listed there or through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. And I would be more than happy to showcase them here for you. Okay, so let's get on to DIY number four. So for this DIY, I am going to um, use some more of this lavender pick. I am going to use, I'm just showing you it came from Walmart there. Um, one of these crates that I've had in my stash with some floral foam that I've had in my stash. I just recently picked these up at Dollar Tree. And then I just recently picked this up at Dollar Tree. So really I'm about $3.75 into this. So I just pulled that stake off. It just pulled right off. And then I'm gonna use my Waverly uh, Antique Wax and my Waverly Chalk Paint in the color white. And then again, this Apple Barrel Lilac Mist. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I'm going to start off by tracing out where I want to put these little wood rounds. I'm going to make them into wheels for my little cart. And then like everything else, I'm just going to use some wood glue and some hot glue to attach each one of those little rounds um, in place. And I do that on all four corners. And they are not perfectly round. They do have a little bit of a knot there, but I thought it was kind of perfect because it helps it, I think, sit a little bit better, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, so once I had it all done, I took my wax here and I'm just brushing it all on. I'm just going to do the whole box inside and out, wheels and everything. Um, once I had, and I did it in sections, so once I had the section all brushed on, I'm going to use a paper towel to wipe off any of the excess. And then after that, I took my bicycle and I painted the whole bicycle white. And I did have to do, I think I did do two coats. Once it was all dry, I did two coats of this purple. I just went around uh, the wheels, just like you see here. And then I'm also going to go around uh, the seat and the handlebars. If you're new, welcome. My name is Brenda. I hope you enjoy today's video. And if you do, if you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, rustic decor, farmhouse decor, uh, then hit that red subscribe button. Become part of our YouTube family. I'd love to have you join. And then again, you guys, if you guys are enjoying today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and comment because you all know the drill. You know that makes my channel grow or, let, or it helps my channel grow. So I would greatly appreciate all the help I can get from you all. Okay, so once I had that all painted, I had painted some of those wood slices from Dollar Tree, four of them with the white chalk paint. And then I'm just gonna hot glue two of them. I just thought these would work great to kind of help keep that bike um, attached, I guess, because uh, I was really worried that if I just tried gluing the 
the wheel to the crate that it wouldn't stay. So I thought maybe if I use these to kind of help hold it in place, that will help. So far it's working out great. So I just put a little dab of hot glue on uh, the tire where it's going to hit the cart and where it hits those black or those little sticks. And then I'm just going to hot glue each one of these sticks on each side of the big tire. Now, it really stood up by itself without these, but for long time use, I just thought it would be better um, and more support. So that's why I am doing that there. And then after that was all done, I just uh, put the floral foam back inside the cart and just filled it up with my lavender picks. And I absolutely love the way this came out. I think it is so adorable. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think. Oh, I forgot. I added a bow. I did another finger bow with this ribbon. This ribbon I had, I think I got last year from Dollar Tree at around springtime. But there it is. I really love how it came out. If you have like those little tags, you could put, you know, flowers for sale, five cents or whatever, um, instead of a bow. But I just think this came out adorable. Okay, last but not least, DIY number five. Uh, so for this one guys this one's not my favorite I have to say but <laughs> like I said I was getting exhausted um, I'm gonna use my paints here that I'm showing you I'm gonna use a couple of these jumbo craft sticks that I have in my stash that I get from Walmart this I just recently got from Dollar Tree as well these I've had in my stash for a while they're from Dollar Tree and then I just laid them all out, took off the hangers, laid them all down, and then cut two of those jumbo craft sticks in half. And then I'm adding them to the back of my, uh, I don't know, planks um, with some, I'm adding hot glue and wood glue and adding them together. Then I painted the metal piece with white and I painted the boards with the wax. And then I took my elephant chalk paint and I'm going over the watering can with that um, elephant chalk paint. And I'm just going to paint over the whole bottom piece here. Now I did the all white. I just thought that maybe the top paint colors that I'm going to use would, um, it would stay on a little bit better. Also, the... Uh, acrylic paint that I use it's really thin and so I knew I'd probably end up using three coats or so if I didn't paint it so that's another reason why I did the white so once I had the flower all painted I did have to do two coats I took this little embossing tool and I'm just making polka dots along my watering can with that purple color and then after that I'm going to take some black uh, by Waverly, it's actually called ink, and I'm just outlining the little middle parts of the flower, just like you see there. And I just thought it needed to kind of pop out a little bit more. And then after that, I took some E6000, I went all the way around like the middle part of the flowers and the watering can. And then I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to put it all around the edges, making sure not to let the hot glue and the E6000 touch because then it just deactivates itself. So after I have this all done, I'm just going to add this to the front of my sign. And then I'm going to take some more of that ribbon and I'm going to glue it, hot glue it to the back. I'm just going to wrap it around the sides, just like you see me doing here. And um, yeah, and then, excuse me, just a moment. <coughs> oh, sorry. After that, I'm going to make another bow and I'm going to add that to, um, oh, nope, sorry, I'm going to make a hanger. So I tied knots in the ends of some of that ribbon, made a hanger. Now I'm going to add that bow to the middle of the watering can. Then I took a couple of these butterflies that comes from the Dollar Tree, painted them with that pink color, and I'm going to hot glue them to the top of the flowers. <coughs> sorry. And, ah. Uh, I, I should have, if, if you recreate this, I would, uh, you know, say maybe add some spackling to that hole. I just didn't think about it till it was too late. So that's why I decided to use these butterflies instead. And then that's all there was for this one as well. You'll have to let me know what you think about it or what you might have done differently to maybe make it a little bit better. 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, the final reveal is coming right up. Thank you all again so much for watching. Make sure you check out Missy and Emily and Kendra's uh, channels as well as the playlist. And again, before you go, if you haven't hit that red subscribe button, I would really encourage you to hit that before you go. And then don't forget to hit that thumbs up and comment. And with all that being said, you guys, I plan on being back on Thursday with another video, keeping my fingers crossed. So make sure those notification bells are set. And with all that being said, you guys have a blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.